going to be reviewing clothing from MilanChoice.com. Now, it never fails. When I'm on Facebook and I'm just scrolling, minding my own business, I see some cute chick in a nice outfit. And boy, oh boy, I want to try it out. So, MilanChoice.com may be new, but I've never seen it before. If it's not new, we're going to see what they have today. Milan Choice, let's see what you got. I got a couple of outfits from MilanChoice.com. Um, this cute little tie-dye biker short set, 95% polyester, 5% spandex, so you definitely gonna get that good stretch. So what I did was I bought a medium. You know, normally I tell y'all I get a large, but with 5% um, spandex, then I don't want it to be sagging and hanging off me, so I got it a little smaller. And and ladies, if you know. If you want, I would suggest, well, I'm not even going to suggest it yet because I haven't tried it on. But anyway, if it's 5% spandex, if it's a true 5% spandex, then you can go down the size. Okay? So, I did medium. It feels good. It feels soft. I'm going to tell you right now, it looks transparent. Oh. But it looks really, really transparent like you're going to really see through it. It's not the best quality, you know, polyester is not the best material, you know, it is a cheap material by itself. Um, it's pretty, it's cute, you know, soft. I said that already, right? Yeah. So I really don't have too much to say about it. But anyway, what I do have to say about it is that tie-dye, you know, is a new fad or the new style. Not so much as new as in we've never had it before, but it's really in this summer. So you're gonna see tie-dye like everywhere. But one thing about tie-dye, they're all unique. They can't get all the, the outfits the same. They can't, so if you buy it, you may have a lot of pink over here and a little bit of orange over here, you know, or vice versa. So they can't get two items the same. It, it, it can't happen with tie-dye. But this is just, this is just a regular t-shirt. You know, and again, it's transparent, it's really, you know, not of top quality. It was um, $36.99 for the, for the set. I, I don't know, it has no tags inside. So even what they said on the website, 95% polyester, 5% spandex, you won't know, like, the truth. <laughs> because there's no tag inside that confirms that for the shirt or the, um, Oh, wait a minute. I found a tag in the shirt. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Let's see. Okay, it says medium. And it does confirm polyester 95 and spandex 5. So, okay, I can get with that. But the shorts didn't have anything. But it's okay. I'm going to try this on. And hopefully it fits because $36.99 is not as cheap as this little outfit. But we're going to see. Okay, so I have it on, and again, this is a size medium. Um, definitely because of the spandex, it fits pretty well. It feels good on my skin, you know. Like I said, it's transparent, so I don't know how well you can see through my underwear or, or through my pants to see my underwear, but it's very transparent, very thin. Um, I said soft already, but I mean, it's cute, $36.99. I would have probably paid maybe $20 for it now. Look, y'all know I hate strength, right? I can't stand strength. It just shows that the stuff was just, the, the, the outfit or the material, it's just, Poorly amazing. I can't even get the words out. It upsets me so much. Like you charge me $36 and I got strings hanging. I mean, granted, I can cut them off, but they should have cut them off. Why they gonna show me some strings? They could have finished that thread. <sighs> anyway, $36.99. It fits the way it should fit. Size medium. Feels cute. Then you can get a little fancy with it. So let me show y'all. See, you know how you like to do. I'm gonna wear my waist beads. I lost weight, so they kind of hang down. Don't worry about those. 
But yeah, we can tie this, tie this shirt up in a knot. Ha ha ha. And make it cute. Cuter, I guess. If you want. That works. So anyway, I'm gonna pink room up. into the next item and this is what they call take the kiss camo jumps okay with the long names don't ask they just make this stuff up but anyway I ordered a medium in this as well because it said 95% spandex I'm sorry 95% polyester with the 5% spandex just like this outfit okay so I went down the size again so this is a medium as you can see it does have a good stretch so it should be good. <sighs> so this polyester feels different from this polyester. This polyester feels more like cotton, right? Whereas though this polyester feels more like nylon, which confuses me a lot sometimes when I feel it. I have to really check the inside. Let's check the inside. Because I did. It's hard to find. Ah, I found it. They may just be slapping this stuff on there. Now looky here. Looky, looky, looky. See? This is why I'm here. You read that? 35% cotton, 65% polyester. Now we know daggone well this outfit got some spandex. What happened? They just throwing tags everywhere. Anyway. This gotta have spandex in it. There's it, no way it does it because look at that. So I can't even believe what's in the inside of the tag. They said 95% polyester, 5% spandex on the website. We're going to go with that because it's a certain something they do to the polyester to make it have a silky feel. You know, like I said, this one feels more cottony. This one feels more silky like nylon. But anyway, it has a nice little drawstring feature. It's supposed to hang off the shoulders. This was under 40 bucks too. I think this was like $37.99. And I guess they call it Kiss because of the lips or whatever. I don't know. But let me tell you something else I noticed about this. Because I be inspecting this stuff. Now, zoomed in close right here. And I see some discoloration. Now. Normally, there is some brown in camo. However, in this outfit, that's the only stripe of brown in here. Oh, I found another one. Right there. But it just seems to be out of place. You know? I mean, I, I just be looking for everything for y'all. Because I want y'all to know exactly what you're getting. I don't want you to say, well, I watched your show, Pippi, and you ain't tell me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you everything I know, everything I see. Now, that still doesn't guarantee that they're going to send you the same thing that they sent me. Ain't no guarantee with these places. But we're going to talk about that in the pink files, okay? I'm going to go try this on. It's a medium, still a little bit saggy right here, so it's not the best fit. It doesn't look too bad, but I definitely don't look as good as the model does on the, on the website. But it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't feel bad. Like I said, it's real silky and feels like more like nylon, um, but it could very well be polyester. Um, she just look really cute in it. Like I, I'm just not impressed. Um, it's, it's, this stuff is poorly made. This, $38.99, like almost $40. You'll probably wear it once, honestly. You're not gonna go somewhere with this one again. And 
like a, this is a medium and it's, it's sagging off me and I normally wear large so they kind of just put it together I don't like the, the discoloration and stuff I don't know if you can see that but I can really see some discoloration in it which leads me to believe like once you wash it like you're not gonna be able to wear this again. you know it's just not the best quality you know I mean $38.99, 40 bucks is, is, is not a whole lot of money, but nobody wants to waste 40 bucks. Uh, you can have a good time and happy hour with 40 bucks. Nobody's trying to waste it, but I just, I just can't, I can't approve it, and I can't approve it for a couple of reasons. I don't think it's worth 40 bucks, and also the description on the website said 95% polyester, 5% spandex within the inside, 65% cotton. 40%, you know, a 35% um, polyester. Like, you, you gotta let us know what it is. Like, you can't just be throwing tags on it. We need to know what we're getting when we pay for it, right? So, denied. Hollywood orange polka dot jumper. Jumpsuit. Oh gosh. Tags are scarce, but I did find a real small one. It just basically says small to medium. Nothing else. Didn't tell me what it was made out of. It feels exactly like this one. It feels exactly like it. So, why no tag? It has the invisible zipper. I always talk about invisible zippers. Invisible zippers can be very hard to zip up and zip down. But they are so cute because you really cannot see it. It looks like the seam. So it, they did a good job putting the invisible zipper in here. They did a good job. But it already got holes in it. And I haven't even put it on. Just straight off the package it got holes in it. I'm not impressed, Milan. I am not impressed. Again, size medium because it said 95% polyester, 5% spandex. That must be their go-to because that's everything so far. But the model looks real cute, isn't it? She had the little orange hat. Check her out. Let's see what it looks like on me. Right there. Okay, Milan choice. I'm not impressed. Anyway, it fits. I would say it's true to size, it's medium. With the 5% spandex that's not being confirmed inside the item. But whatever. Anyway, it feels good. Like I said, it feels like nylon. It doesn't feel like polyester, but it can very well be polyester. I'm just not impressed because for $36.99 I shouldn't have to be sewing anything together I mean I'm gonna deny it I tell you that much because $36.99 I shouldn't be repairing anything it should come ready to wear right so pink room denied okay so I am not too impressed with MilanChoice.com I can tell you shipping was $2.99. They did have uh, a discount. I think it was like 30% off. So it was like $98 for the three outfits that I received or that I purchased. Um, their refund policy is 30 days. They will give you a refund. Um, but it's a whole, whole process to that. They have to get your merchandise first. Of course, you got to have the tags on it. That's where I have the problem. There are no tags. <laughs> so how am I gonna return something with tags if it didn't come with tags in the beginning? 
hopefully they know they don't have tags and they won't try and scam you when you try to return stuff. Um, what else can I say about them? I don't like the fact that they don't give a size range. Like normally it'll be like a small would be a six to eight and you know a medium will be a 10, 12, something like that. They don't have that on the site. It just goes by your bust size. So you have to measure and know your bust size and your waist size and <sighs> hip size and all of that stuff. So that's inconvenient because a lot of people just don't know that. And I, I mean, it's just, it's just inconvenience. Okay, I will tell you again, I'm not impressed. The best thing that I had was the tie-dye outfit. It was cute, it was very wearable. The other two outfits, I probably won't wear those. Um, they were just poor quality. And another thing I want to say is that that store and plenty of other online stores are targeting black women, okay? They show videos. It's not just a model standing there with the clothes on. If you put it in, like if you see it on your Facebook, you'll see the black model walking in it, banging bodies, looking real nice in it and everything. And it's basically, you know, urging you to purchase from them, you know, because they look real good in it. They're walking around in it and everything. So you think that's what you're going to get. But that's not what I received here today. So I would... I would refrain from buying anything from ElonChoice.com because the quality is poor and you don't want to raise your money, right? Pink five. Thank you for watching. I hope I save you money. I hope I save you time because that's what I aim to do. Today, feature clothing from ElonChoice.com. Let me know if I missed anything. If it's something else you want to know about the store period of uh, the clothing whatever if it's anything I miss anything you want to know please leave me some messages some comments some feedback whatever it is I'll be glad to answer your questions and I want to take this time out on a serious note in my real life <laughs> I'm a psychotherapist and I wanted to say that I have been getting an influx of teenagers in my office for depression this pandemic has taken a toll on a lot of us. Some of these teenagers, their parents aren't working, they can't go to school, they can't see their friend, they can't hang out like they used to, and they're suffering from depression. So if you have a teenager, a niece that's a teenager, a cousin that's a teenager, a child that's a teenager, check on them because they're not all right. Don't forget to watch, share, and subscribe. And before you buy online, think 